Hi, it's Miss Rosie with the San Diego Natural History Museum. I have a very special story for you today, all about an unexpected journey and the friends that you meet along the way. This is called Bear Came Along, and it is written by Richard Morris and illustrated by Lee Wynn Pham. Once there was a river that flowed night and day but I didn't know it was a river. Until, can you see who that is? Bear came along. Here's Bear. Bear was just being curious. When he realized what the river could do, <gasps> look what happened to Bear. He didn't know he was on an adventure until, look at Bear, can you see what's happening up at the top? What's that? Froggy hopped on. Oh, look at Bear and Froggy, that's very cute. Froggy was a lonely frog who was looking for a friend, but she didn't know how many she had. Oh, how cute. Until the turtles showed up. I'll take a look. There's Froggy and Bear. And then there's the turtles. The turtles tried to warn them about the things that could go wrong but they didn't know how to enjoy the ride. Until, look at those faces. Beaver climbed aboard. Do you see Beaver there? Beaver was born to be captain. He knew exactly where to go but he didn't know about the detours until they look a little surprised there, don't they? What's that in the tree? The raccoons dropped in. The raccoons were so excited about the twists and turns ahead, but they didn't know they had to be careful. Take a look at these great pictures. Look at their face. The raccoons look happy. Everybody else, oh, we've got a little worried bear. Maybe the turtles look a little worried. What's going to happen next? Until they crashed into duck. Duck was so content being right where she was, but she didn't know there was a world to see. They all look so happy together, don't they? Until, uh-oh, what does that look like? I love this picture. Look at their faces. What's going to happen? Until what? Oh, there we can see what's happening. That looks like a big waterfall. They look a little nervous, don't they? Be kind of scary to go over a waterfall. Bear held on to Froggy. Froggy held on to Turtles. Turtles held on to Beaver. Beaver held on to Raccoons. And Raccoons held on to Duck. They're all holding on to each other. Oh, 
What a ride. Oh, looks like they had fun going over that waterfall, doesn't it? So many different animals living their separate lives, but they didn't know they were in it together until The river came along. So look at that. The river brought them all together. Even more animals. Can you see the animals that they're about to meet? So there's a skunk and a moose. This is a wonderful story, isn't it? I love the beautiful, bright pictures. One of the, the author had this really wonderful note at the back of the book. He says, this story says, take a chance, hop on board, work together, trust each other, share the adventure. I hope you enjoy the ride. Isn't that nice? So today, I have a very simple craft. I drew a picture of a river and you can see, I'm not very good at drawing people, so I did my best with the stick, stick figures. But there's me, and who's on my, who's taking my ride with me? My husband, my kids, my friends, my coworkers, all the people in my life sharing the ride with me. Draw your own picture. Who would be riding on the log with you on your adventure down the river of life? Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time.